beloved by the time welcome back to my channel the fall crafting continues today with brand new fall crafts i know you're going to love including these faux whipped mug toppers check these out you guys don't you love them i absolutely love them they look so real too and these are perfect for a fall coffee bar and they are so easy to make too. I've shared how to make these before over on Instagram if you're following me there. I've also done Instagram lives of making them too. They are so fun and easy to make so I cannot wait to show you how. Plus you can remove them so you can change them out and swap them out for fall and for Christmas. So much fun. Plus I have other fall crafts that are new today that I cannot wait to share with you. If you are new here to my channel, again, welcome. I love sharing home decor and cooking and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte, sit back, relax, and let's get to crafting. First up, in today's fall crafting video, I'm going to show you how to make these fall mug toppers. These are so fun and easy to make and look super cute on a coffee bar. Plus, you can customize them however you like. I grab a two pack of styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree and cut the ball in half. I will be able to make two mug toppers with one ball. Next, I grab my mug and a piece of foam board. You could also use a piece of cardboard as well. And I trace the top of my mug around the foam board and cut it out. Next, I hot glue the piece of styrofoam onto the center of the foam board that I cut out. Next, I'm going to add my Wilton 1M piping tip into my piping bag. If you do not have a piping bag, you could use a storage bag. And then I'm going to fill it with fast and final speckle that is going to be the faux frosting. Next, I'm going to pipe the spackle around the floral foam just as I would a cupcake. And then I go back and fill in any spots and around the rim of the mug topper. Then I'm going to set it aside to dry and the spackle will harden. Once the spackle is dry and it is hardened, I am going to add a little bit of gloss Mod Podge and some deco art paint in the color cocoa and mix it together and drizzle it on top of my mug topper. Next is the fun part, adding all of the cute little accents. For the first one, I'm going to use some of this Katie K Cobb that I get at the pet store and sprinkle that on top along with a cinnamon stick. I do cut my cinnamon stick in half and then I push it into the dried spackle. Once it is done, I will set it aside until the Mod Podge mixture I drizzled on top is dry. And look how cute and yummy this is. This would be so cute on a coffee bar. For the second one, I'm drizzling it with more of the Mod Podge mixture, and then I'm going to sprinkle this one with some cinnamon, add a cinnamon stick, and a cute little pumpkin. And for this one, you can spray it with a little bit of sealer to seal in that cinnamon. Next up, I'm going to be making super cute, chunky wood jack-o'-lanterns. I'm going to be using these silk screen jack-o'-lantern faces as well as these chunky wood pumpkins. I will have a link to all of the supplies to make this in the description below. You can paint these pumpkins whatever color you want. I decided just to distress them, so I am using a sanding block and distressing the edges. You could also use a sander to do that as well. And here is how they look after I sanded the edges. I am just using a sanding block from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to cut out the pumpkin faces. What I love about these silkscreen transfers is I can reuse them. So once I apply the chalk paste, I'm going to rinse these off. And once they are dry, I'm going to put them back on the backing and I can reuse them again. This is the first time I am using this transfer. I am going to get off a little bit of that stickiness off the back of the transfer with my fuzzing cloth. You could use a towel as well. And then I place my transfer on my pumpkin. I take out any air bubbles, so I press it down a little bit, make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then I apply my Chalkology paste. I am just using black, but you could use whatever color you want. Then I remove my transfer and I have a cute little pumpkin. 
If you love doing fall craft nights with your friends and family, this would be a super cute one to do. And I couldn't resist adding a little buffalo check to these. So I am making a buffalo check bow with this ribbon from Dollar Tree and adding it to just one of the pumpkins. And look how darling these turned out. And I love the faces and the distressing on them that I get with using the silkscreen transfer. Next up is a super easy way to make some fabric pumpkins using toilet paper. I begin by unwinding some of the toilet paper, then I will wind that back around, tucking the end in, and this will make it a little bit more round. Next, I grab my fabric. The fabric I'm using is from Hobby Lobby, and I grabbed a half a yard of fabric and cut it in half, and that was enough to make two pumpkins. And then I start tucking the fabric into the center of the toilet paper roll. Once it's all tucked in, I have these little wooden stems from Dollar Tree and I'm simply going to hot glue it into the center for a little stem. Then I'm going to wrap around a little piece of raffia and make a cute little tag. I have my stamps that I'm going to stamp the word pumpkin and attach it with hot glue onto the pumpkin. And then I hot glued a button on top and my cute little pumpkin is done. You can make a bunch of these really, really quick and they're so fun to make. Next up, I'm going to make a super cute I love you more than pumpkin anything sign. I'm going to begin by adding painter's tape around the edges of this sign and then adding a few coats of paint. I'm using folk art paint in the color cinnamon. There is a link in the description below that will include most of the supplies to make this yourself. I'm going to add my silk screen transfer on top of the sign. I love these transfers because I can wash and reuse them and then I'm going to apply my chalk paste. And look how cute this sign turned out. And what I love about doing this is I can customize the colors to what I like. While the sign is super cute just like this, I decided to add a little bit more cuteness. So I took a little piece of nautical rope and hot glued that on top along with the bow to make it look like a little pumpkin sign. Next up, I'm making fall hanging tags. I'm using two of these tags from Dollar Tree. They are from Christmas. Anytime I see these tags at Dollar Tree, I always pick a couple up to have on hand. I'm going to be adding a couple coats of folk art paint in the color cinnamon to one of the tags. I'm also going to be adding a few coats of the folk art paint in the color cinnamon to this pumpkin that is also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be adding a couple coats of folk art chalk paint in the color cottage white onto this tag. Mm -hmm. 
Once I put the two tags together, I wanted to add a little bit more to the one that I painted cinnamon. So I'm gonna do a simple check. I'm simply going to add some painter's tape to it. And I didn't have a wider painter tape, so I'm going to double up on it. And I'm just going to dry brush some of that cottage white onto this one, simple and easy. Just laying my painter tape on top to create some stripes. I'm gonna dry brush my paint on top, remove my painter tape, and then go the other way. Next, I'm going to hot glue the tags together. And then I'm going to hot glue the pumpkin on top of the white tag. Then I made a simple shoelace bow with some ribbon I had on hand and hot glued that onto the pumpkin. Then I decided to paint this wooden Hello Fall that I got at Dollar Tree. I painted it in folk art chalk paint in the color Cottage White and I hot glued it onto the pumpkin. Lastly, I added some twine to hang along with a cute little button and I love the way these tags turned out. Next up, if you love a tear tray, you are going to love this. I grabbed this tear tray essentials kit along with the silk screen transfers to customize all of my goodies to go on my tear tray. First, I'm going to create my wooden book stack and I'm using the words sweater weather, fall candles, and cozy blankets. I'm simply cutting them out and then I'm going to put them onto my book stack and add my paste. And what I love about these transfers is I can wash and reuse them. There are so many options to customize it. You could even paint this entire book stack or paint each row a different color. I decided to keep it simple and I'm keeping it white, adding each of my words, and then I'm going to apply Chalkology paste in the color Bark. Once I apply my paste, I remove my transfer. I will wash it in some warm soapy water and let it dry with the sticky side up. Once it's dry, I'll put it on the backing and I can reuse it. Next, I'm wrapping my book stack with this ribbon from Dollar Tree, hot gluing it to the bottom, and then I'm going to hot glue a bow on top. And this is how the book stack turned out. Next up, I'm going to make a rolling pin to add to my tear tray. And I have the rolling pin from my kit and I'm going to be adding this Autumn Vibes transfer onto it. I'm applying chalk paste in the color Bark to the word Autumn and using a shimmery gold for the word Vibes. And this is how it turned out. Next up, I'm going to add a transfer to this cute little cutting board that also came with the kit. I'm adding this pie and I'm going to apply chalk paste in the color bright white to the transfer. And then I'm going to hot glue a bow on top. This is such a cute addition to a fall tier tray. 
Next, I'm going to add the transfer leaves are falling, autumn is calling to the mini chalkboard. I'm applying chalk paste in the color bright white, but you can customize these however you'd like. And this was easy peasy and looks so cute on my tear tray. Best up in my kit, I am making a sign. There are so many transfer options to use. I am using the word home. I'm going to add the transfer to my sign and then I'm using chalkology paste in the color black velvet. And here is my cute little sign for my tear tray. Last up for today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this large pumpkin door hanger. This is so big and looks great on a door, but you could even set this on the ground as well. Starting with a piece of foam board that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm drawing out a pumpkin. I have this pumpkin that is also from Dollar Tree that I'm just using as a reference. Once I have my pumpkin drawn out, I'm going to cut it out using my rotary cutter, or you could use a box cutter or X-Acto knife. Now I'm going to spray it with some spray adhesive. The spray adhesive I have is from Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to apply some spray glue. The spray glue I'm using is from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to place my pumpkin with the sprayed side down onto my fabric. The fabric I'm using is from Hobby Lobby. I flip it over and smooth the fabric out and then flip it back over and then I'm going to cut off the excess fabric. Now I'm going to cut some strips of nautical rope from Dollar Tree and hot glue that to the top of the pumpkin for the stem. Then I'm going to attach some nautical rope around the edge of my pumpkin with hot glue. Then I go back around and if any of the fabric came up a little bit because of the hot glue, I will just attach that back down with hot glue. Next, I'm going to add some raffia along with a bow and some pipberry to the top of my pumpkin with hot glue. I also add a little button on top of the bow. Then I decided to cut out a little tag, stamp the word pumpkin patch, and I will hot glue that on as well. I also distressed my tag with a little distress oxide in the color vintage photo. This pumpkin turned out so cute and you wouldn't believe it was made with foam board.
Okay, you guys, and that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite craft was from today. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.